What's going on guys? So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I've kind of become a little bit of a car connoisseur, I guess you could say, and no different today. So you know about the new Tahoe that we just picked up. This is a 2021 Tahoe. And today's video, we're going to give you a brief walkthrough slash review video of this new body style 2021 Tahoe and uh, see what we think about it. So the 2021 Tahoe and Suburban and Yukon series got a little bit of a facelift here. You can see in the front end, they're very similar now to the Silverados with both the running lights here, the change in the running lights to this like kind of outward design. I don't even know what to call it, like a backward C or something. I think it's a pretty good front end change, the LED headlights been a long time coming the old generation of the Tahoe was around for a long time with not very many changes to it and then of course the back end you can see on the back end a complete refresh tail lights the rear badging and then even the style of like the back quarter where this whole Transition with the window and everything. I really like it. I think it's a, a more modern design. I think they did a better job on the mirrors than the Silverado. The Silverado mirrors look kind of out of place on the door like that. Because used to the mirrors would mount right here in this piece. But now they've started doing them on the door. And I think it works out well for the Tahoe. So that's pretty much the exterior. Now let's, uh, let's take a look at the inside and see what's different. So this is a complete redesign on the interior of this Tahoe now. Uh, the only thing that even looks remotely familiar is the steering wheel stack and that's similar to the new body style Silverados with the buttons and the way they do like the backside here for the volume buttons and also to change channels or presets. So that's similar but other than that the complete interior seems to be a redesign and I really like it. So we'll go through here first. So this is the RST trim and the RST in the Tahoe is a little bit different than the Silverado. So my 2019 Silverado that I had was an RST, but really that was more of an exterior package. Whereas this seems to be a lot of interior changes as well. So as you can see, we've got the red stitching that follows all along the interior, steering wheel, door panels, dashboard, on the center console, even all the way on the seats with the stitching on the seats. Pretty sporty look. Chevy has gone to the new push button style shifting instead of a uh, traditional like shift lever or a console lever. Um, so now it's all push button. You'll actually push for park and then you get underneath it and pull for reverse and drive, push for neutral and then your low gear, you can uh, change your gears here or go into low via push button. Then we've got this new um, like accessory storage compartment, which it's pretty big. I mean, I could fit a phone in there. Let's see here. This is the S20 Ultra, so one of the bigger phones on the market. Eh, it's not doing much, but it'll hold it in there. And then from there, we go down to the center stack for the climate control. We've got heated seats. Also, cooled seats is an option. Then we got the rear all your controls for your radio. This is very similar to the existing um, Silverado lineup. Uh, and then from there, we've got USB now. So we get a lot more USB-C drives on the Tahoe than we did in the Silverado. The Silverado had a USB drive that was in the center console, but now we've got them here in the dash. And then we've also got a USB, and then you've got your standard cigarette lighter outlet. We move to the console, don't mind the mess. We've actually got your SD card here, USB, and then another USB-C. Then we've got a bunch of storage. It's actually, it's actually pretty deep down in there. We've got a, a tray that goes in it, and then also this handy little light so you can see what's going on down in there when you're looking. Push button start, of course. I think that's new on the Tahoes. I'm not sure if they've had it before, but I know the Silverado's, the 2019 body style change was where they first brought in the push button start. So I'm pretty sure that's new on the Tahoe as well. Go over to the other side. 
you got your lane keep assist. This will actually not just alert you if you're leaving the lane, but it'll actually hold you in the lane to an extent. Traction control, parking sensors, auto start feature. That's kind of a, people love to hate that feature. Uh, and then you can of course turn off your outlets uh, as far as the power that they receive. Then here, I'm not sure why this isn't labeled. On the Silverado, it's actually labeled with a flag and some other things, but this will actually change your uh, driving mode to all the different normal sport, snow, ice, and towing or hauling. And then we've got your up and down. This right here makes your uh, cluster lights brighter or dimmer. And then of course your headlight controls. Steering wheels, similar. You got your uh, phone answer and end button up and down to navigate your different uh, menus, things like that. And then also your cruise control over here on the left. This right here is your distance. There's a collision warning. So you can set this gap and right here on the cluster, you can't see it right now because there's no car in front of me, but right here where my finger is on the cluster, it'll actually show you a picture of a little car and it'll either be green, red, or orange. And it basically tells you how close you are to the car in front of you. If you're too close, it'll turn orange or red. And then if you start getting to a situation where the car is braking and you're not, this little HUD right here, this little baby HUD will light up with red lights and it'll beep at you, telling you that uh, somebody stopped in front of you. So moving on to the center stack, up top here, we've got your home link garage door buttons, got your dome lights, uh, sorry, your map lights. And this is actually funny because the new Tahoe does not have a dome light button. And this is something that a lot of people complain about. Like, how do I, how do I turn on my dome lights in the Tahoe? You actually hold this button for like, I think it's two seconds. And then when you let go, all your dome lights come on. To turn them off, you do the same thing. You hold it down and then they turn off. But if you just want to turn on yours, you just tap it on and off. So then from there, we've got the dome right dome light override so that when you open your doors, it can either come on or not. This is pretty cool. This is actually your third row seats. You can control the seats folding up or down from the front of the truck for storage. And then you've got your rear hatch. You can set it to max open right here or three quarter open or off. So you can't control it from here. Then of course, this truck has the panoramic sunroof, which I really like and you can control the screen here to close the screen. There we go, you can see it closing. And you can also control the slide of the sunroof and tilt the sunroof from here. And then you've got your standard OnStar buttons too. As far as door controls go, pretty standard. This is a similar stack that's in the 2019 Silverado, it's a little different layout, but like the, the center piece of it is pretty much the same. Memory seats, you can set two, uh, up to two different users for memory seats with the power seat with lumbar support. And then on top of that, you have an exit. So when you hit this, the seat will actually, uh, it'll actually expand and lean back. I think it lowers also, and that's like an assist to help you get out of the truck easier. Then you've got your windows, which your fronts are auto up and down, and then your backs obviously power backs are auto down but not auto up your mirror controls you can adjust your uh, you'll click your driver or passenger mirror and then adjust the mirrors then we also on some trucks will have this folding mirror option where if you push the mirrors will fold in for tight parking spaces just helps you uh, create a little more room there and then of course your child lock so you can turn off control of the rear windows now moving on to the rear of the truck, which is my favorite part. This Tahoe has gotten a lot nicer in the rear end, like passenger compartment, if you ask me. So first off, we'll start in the third row. Now the third row, I'm six foot two. The third row is actually a pretty big area. Let's see here, I'll show you. I can actually hop in here and sit in the third row seat. And you can see my legs have plenty of room. And my head has plenty of room. I'm, I'm, you know, I've got probably two or three inches above my head of head space all the way around. And I'm not, I'm not hitting anywhere. So that's the headrest I just hit, but plenty of room in the third row. A lot of times these third rows are kind of unusable for an adult, but this is actually pretty spacey. Uh, then on top of that, you've got USB ports for the third row on both sides here. Cup holders for the third row. You've got a little storage area and then a deeper cup holder. 
Then you've got part of the Bose system. You've got speakers everywhere. So behind you, well, it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if you can see it here. So back here, we've got surround bill speakers. Then we've got speakers. Let's see here. Where are they at? There's more speakers somewhere. Of course, the door speakers. I can't remember how many total speakers are in this Bose system, but I think I want to say it's like 11, including a center channel up front, maybe. Um, but anyway, so from the third row, we'll go to the second row seats here. And you can see in the second row, also a ton of room. You got your own map lights, your own air conditioning vents. It looks like a little clothes hanger hook. And then to the entertainment system, which is one of my favorite parts. So these 12.3 inch screens uh, come with the rear entertainment package for these trucks. And this is a pretty cool feature. So in the center stack here, beside your rear climate control and your heated seats here, you've also got two USB-C drives and two HDMI drives, or input, sorry. And what you can do, you can actually hook a hard drive to those USB-C ports and plug a hard drive with movies stored on them. And then from there, you can get to them from here and actually pull up your movies and play them, navigate them, do whatever you want from these screens. Then on top of that, you can broadcast the music to the Bose or you can hook Bluetooth wireless headphones, which if you get the rear entertainment package, it comes with two Chevy USB, or sorry, not USB, Bluetooth headphones. Pretty cool. Haven't tried those out yet for quality, but I'm sure we'll get to them and see how they sound. Going back to the menu, you can see you can also choose HDMI inputs. So we've got a little Roku um, just temporarily hooked up here. Just a little Roku streamer so that we can uh, watch some TV. We've got the remote here. Now, I don't think we're connected, but we can choose HDMI 1 on the touchscreen. It'll pull up the Roku. And then from there, you can see we can go to all of your different streaming options and you can add apps and do all kinds of cool stuff now i don't have the wi-fi turned on right now so we can't do much on here but then on top of that you can on this even though the roku is plugged into the left tv you can go to the right tv choose hdmi one and pull it up right there as well so that you can get both devices even though there's one device hooked up, you can see it on both TVs. Or if you want to, you can plug a separate device into the second HDMI port and have something totally different. Xbox, PlayStation, whatever you want streaming on this TV while this one is doing something totally different. Pretty cool. And then they also give you a plug-in down here, a standard 110 volt outlet for you to plug in your Xbox or gaming console or Roku or DVD player, whatever you want to plug in right there. So another thing that you have for uh, entry and exit, you've got this cool little folding seat here. So if I were to take the second row seat, bring it up like normal, you can actually push this button from the third row and fold that seat away so that you can get out of the truck easily. Now we'll go to the back of the truck and we'll show you what the improvements they made here. First off, we'll start off, there's two different ways to get into the rear hatch. The first one is a button right here underneath the back beside your license plate and that will open your back hatch and then from there you've also got your standard button under here which you push and it opens the back hatch now they've grown this a lot there's over 11 inches of total space gained between this and the previous generation Tahoe so a lot more storage space and you've even got your power folding seats so the second row is already folded down, but we can close the second row with two button presses there. Or the third row, we hold that, and we can bring the third row seat down all the way, or bring it back up. Pretty cool feature there. Then we got some other storage, blow deck here, jack and stuff. Not a lot of storage, but it's just a small compartment just for some extra hidden storage. So we'll close the hatch now. Another feature they added to the new body style Tahoe, you can see this little bow tie on the ground here below the back bumper. And that is actually a hands-free tailgate open. So we can wave our foot 
underneath there and the hatch opens and even for closing when you're ready to close it wave your foot again and the hatch will close totally hands-free and plus you get this pretty cool little bow tie that pops up on the ground behind your truck so overall I think Chevy did an incredible job with the new body style I think it's leaps and bounds both in interior exterior design and function features from the previous generation and I'm really excited about this one I've got about 600 miles on it so far and as you can see we've already done a few things to it I've got wheels and tires on it um, we're gonna talk about wrapping it potentially We've got some suspension mods some exhaust intake a little bit a little bit here and there and we're gonna make a pretty cool truck I hope you guys like it as much as I do and if you want to see more videos be sure and subscribe to the channel uh, if you haven't already and uh, hopefully we'll see you in a future video but for now I'm gonna go put a jacket on we'll see you guys later